The core focus was to showcase the various projects and activities crafted by the students across different subjects. Curriculum does not depend so much on the teachers, but more, the, more like the students' work. The student is required to go and make research and work in groups with fellows. So this is more innovative and creative for the student. I've seen the new curriculum. It's a very interesting new way of learning because it has taught us many different things, as you can see here. We have learned new things, new skills, and these skills can help us in many different ways. Elizabeth highlighted the dynamic nature of the new curriculum, describing it as not only interesting but also competent, instilling trust in students and preparing them for the 21st century job market. These projects uh, at the end of the child's cycle, uh, they are expected to be uh, possibly assessed by UNEB. Because we are aware that UNEB will give 80%, so we have assessment for the learners where we have internal assessments after every topic. Then we have the assessments of the learner where we shall have UNEB assessors. And then we shall also have, of course, the projects included. The transformative nature of the curriculum encourages collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and problem solving, crucial attributes for addressing the challenges faced by Uganda and Africa at large. We appreciate government for giving us the textbooks. Thank you, government. Uh, we received textbooks. For senior three, we received textbooks. But some optional subjects have not yet got the textbooks, like FN, Kiswahili, Fine Arts. Those are subjects that may not have got all the textbooks, but we have received the textbooks. Uh, government has trained the, uh, this, this teachers. But possibly for these traditional schools that have existed for long, that have had their laboratories age, government could come out and support. And Acknowledging the evolving landscape of the 21st century, emphasis on the curriculum's role in equipping students with the necessary skills and knowledge was stressed. We have invited the parents so that they can uh, move together, they can move together with us as a team, as we learn, as we master, as we teach the children the new curriculum. The financial burden on students in acquiring materials and the need for improved infrastructure, especially in terms of furniture, were noted as significant concerns. The need for government support in upgrading infrastructure, including ICT labs, was also stressed. Sudat Kaye.